Hey there guys, so this week I wanted to show you how I've been using Beatport Pro to fill in the missing gaps such as genre, cover art, um, energy level and uh, the mood of a track. So I wanted to show you how I've been using it to do this. Now I don't use iTunes to organize my music, it's all organized within Traktor and my files are all in, um, they're all sort of in their own folders, how I have them organized on my hard drive. Now if you're using iTunes as your main organizing tool and then you want to follow this procedure, you may find that when you reconnect iTunes and you start importing tracks again, that it's all gonna be overwritten again anyway. So fully understand how your um, libraries are organized, where your music's being read from, before you go ahead and do uh, what I'm doing here. But if you've got it set up like myself, then it shouldn't be a problem at all for you. And all I'm doing is I'm uh, putting tracks into Beatport, sending them out to an XML file, and then sending that into Traktor by um, pointing Traktor towards that Beatport file. And then I'm importing all the details from the Beatport sync into Traktor, and then I'm disconnecting Beatport from Traktor and reverting back to the original iTunes. Um, but as I don't use iTunes as my organizing thing, it doesn't make a difference to me. Um, so just know, like I say, how your tracks are organized and how it all functions before you go ahead and follow this. There's a few things to note when you're doing this, and one is that I've had an issue copying the key across from Beatport Pro to Traktor, even though it says the key is in the track in Beatport Pro, it's not actually coming across into Traktor. Um, and I'll explain that as we go. But don't rush into doing the, anything in the content of this video without checking out the whole thing first. So, what I've realized is, um, if I am in my Traktor collection and there's the genre section here, I noticed that there's 313 unknown genres basically means there is nothing in the genre column for these tracks. Now a lot of these tracks are actually um, loops and samples that I'm not bothered about anyway, um, but there is a bunch um, that would be nice to get some genres in. A lot of the tracks that I have that are outstanding with the genres are uh, sampled in from vinyl from about 10 years ago or so. And so Beatport's having a little difficulty finding them, but uh, let's see what we can achieve. I'm going to open up Beatport, Beatport Pro, and I'm creating a different playlists. So let's, I'm going to create this playlist. You just right click on playlist, new playlist, give it a name. So I'm just going to uh, give, I'm going to use that one that I've already created there called uh, No Genre. And uh, I'm going to make sure there's nothing in here at all. So everything's deleted. Let's get rid of everything from Beatport. So there's nothing in Beatport. Um, if you're using Beatport already and you don't want to delete everything from there, no worries. Um, just create a couple of playlists that I'm about to show you. And for those that don't know, in the preferences of Beatport, you've got the export section here. You can export the libraries in iTunes music file and choose the location here. I've also set the metadata uh, mood and energy to be copied into the comments field uh, in Traktor. And by default, they're separated by these two dashes here. So um, with that all set up, we want to move tracks into Beatport that we want to add information to. So I might as well just select all of these actually and we'll, we'll see what we can figure out here. So I'm just going to grab this bunch. I click and drag, but then I command tab to Beatport and I'm going to drag them and put them into the no genre section here. And now I have this bunch of tracks. Now, um, I'm just going to try with the top four at first, and I'm just going to select them by holding shift and click, and then sync with Beatport. Now, you might want to know which kind of mix it is. Um, you may already know, or you may not. Um, 
but I'm going to select this one and this one doesn't seem that we found uh, this particular one so we can just skip over that again not found and again not found so we just got the two there so we'll click done and we can see that the two that are done are these two uh, that now have added house genre so let's add the mood to these so I'm just gonna listen to these All right, uh, I'm going to say it's pretty high energy. I'm going to go with a, a four on the energy. Uh, mood, I'm going to say it's uh, disco, funky, filtered, and vocal. So they're all added in. So I've got the mood and energy added in. And it's uh, obviously added the genre. And we'll try Diamond Life as well. So I'd say it's a little bit less um, energetic, so we're going to maybe stick a three. Mood, I'm going to add in um, some happy, disco, funky, vocal, uplifting, and we'll say done to that. So now those two are done and tagged, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of them. I'm actually going to create a new playlist and call this tagged so I know where I'm at. Now I'm going to drag these two into the tagged playlist and if we've done it with more we'll do it with more, it's obviously better the more you do but I'm just doing two to show you and speed things up. So I've moved these two to the tagged section so I can delete these two from the no genre section because they do now have a genre and there's the ones that are tagged. Okay so we've got uh, the, the, the mood and the energy, energy four and three. So now we can uh, close down Beatport. And so long as you uh, now, before you bring them across, you need to set up iTunes to read that Beatport file. So you go into uh, file management and into here and you navigate towards the Beatport as iTunes, the one you've just created, and uh, set that up. Then what we need to do is we click refresh and you'll notice that it's refreshed it with all the tracks that are in that Beatport collection. And we have the no genre tags, which you can still see have no genre, and the tagged ones, which we've just created. So you can see that the filtered, vocal, funky, all these moods and the level has come across into comment. Now I'm only reading it from iTunes, so it's not actually in the collection right now. So I'm actually going to import this to playlists and it will then import the name of the playlist which is tagged into Tractor itself and will import the songs. And You'll notice that key doesn't come across and this is an issue I've found that it doesn't want to bring the key across from Beatport even though it says it in the text there. So all we need to do is once we've brought all our tagged music back into uh, into Tractor, we can analyze. Now that analyzed, we've got the key, and obviously it keeps all the comment information. Now the best thing about this, um, we go to cl track collection, so we can see the entire collection, and the little search function here, we've got, we can search all fields, or we can just search comment. So let's search comment for number four, and that's our energy. So you can see anything with the number four comes up. So these these three tracks here have energy level number four. We can search for energy level number one, and we've got them here with a one. And uh, that's a great way to find different tracks that work well with one another. Obviously, we can search for atmospheric as well. Let's just try that. And again, it brings everything that I've labeled up as atmospheric. Um, down tempo and we've got everything that's got down tempo labeled in there as well. So that is how you can use Beatport to bring in certain missing tags and information to your tracks. You'll now notice that um, the unknown genres have dropped to 311 and as you work through that'll slowly disappear back down to zero. 
So if we go back to Beatport now, we'll open up Beatport again. Say we want to go and import some more tracks and do the same again. Now because of the issue where um, you lose the key when importing it over into Tractor, um, we need to make sure we don't re-import the same ones that we've already imported and analyzed because you'll lose the key again and you'll have to analyze it again in Tractor. So what I do is I'm going to delete the uh, the content from the tagged and we'll move back into the no genre and we'll find a couple more tracks. We'll do exactly the same. So that is the way to bring in tracks from Beatport and uh, fill in missing information. It really does help when everything's labeled correctly and uh, your genres are set up correct. You could also do the same for artists. If you go to the artist section and click the unknown, you have uh, a bunch of unknown artists here. So you can do the same with this as well. Then once you've done with everything on your uh, beat port moving things across, you can actually reassign your iTunes back to your original library. Say you wanted your own library file back to normal. And then you'll have your, you can refresh it. Oh. Refresh. And then it brings back the original iTunes library files if you were using those. So I hope there's some information amongst all of that that you can use today that will help you improve your tractor library. And just, just bear in mind that if the tracks you are adding into Beatport and then putting back into Tractor, um, just bear in mind that if you're then reconnecting your, your original iTunes library and they are the same tracks from the same source, um, it may overwrite the uh, information that we've just imported in from Beatport. Um, so test that out with a couple of tracks first before you do your entire library and uh, see how it all works. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this in-depth tutorial on Beatport and uh, we'll catch you again soon. If you have any questions, fire them in on YouTube down below or connect with me on Twitter at Tractor Tips. Let us know how it goes for you and if you've got any methods that you like to use to bring uh, your collection up to scratch. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon on TractorTips.com.